to get to the podium. In exchange for a cup of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Mercy, the president has threatened to issue a national emergency and send more troops to the border. Is that a real threat? Is he serious about it, or is he trying to pressure Democrats? Look, I think that the president's going to find ways to fund this wall. We obviously want to resolve this issue with Congress. That's a priority. Uh, we feel that the Democrats are delaying this process. We presented a letter to them yesterday with all of our requests and the needs from our career Custom Border Patrol agents and Department of Homeland Security, and that's our goal. Has the president actually started drawing up plans, though, to, to issue a national Look, we're, we're finding ways to ensure that we can try to uh, get the get the what we need to secure the border, the resources we need to secure the border. As we know, this is not only a humanitarian crisis that we're seeing in the southern border, uh, but we're also seeing a national security crisis in this, in this moment. Is, there is, any the president, is the president on the same page with Mr. Bolton? It sounds like the a plan he's laid out could take years to get us serious. Well, I think the you know the president's made it very clear he wants to bring the troops home. We've done our work in Syria, which was that to destroy the territorial caliphate. As we know, it's Department of Defense that comes up with the operational plans to make sure that we are able to withdraw our troops safely. This is about the safety of our allies and the safety of our troops, and make sure that there's an orderly withdrawal in the process. What's the White House message to those federal workers who are in track to miss their first paycheck they, on Friday? It is so important that they call the Democrats and basically tell the Democrats, stop the delay tactics, let's negotiate. For weeks, the White House has provided a good faith offer. For weeks, the White House has done what they can. They've opened the doors to the White House to have them come and work here and negotiate. This is what it's about. It's about a negotiation. The Democrats themselves have said the importance of securing the border. I heard Nancy Pelosi. I heard Chuck Schumer. They said it. They said, yes. We agree we need to secure the border. They have yet to provide the definition of border security. Even the president was saying, because Nancy kept getting stuck on the wall, on the concrete wall, and the president's like, look, let's look into steel. Come with me. Let's work together to come up with a design. Let's work with our border patrol agents to come up with a design that works. They at one point agreed to a $1.3 billion. They, are not, they have not moved from that number. And part of a negotiation is that you're able to come to the middle. Mercedes, the president, I want to clarify something. Last year, the president complained at length about having to sign a large omnibus spending bill. And what the Democrats want to do is pass the six of seven outstanding appropriations bills, individual bills. We have a crisis on the border. The, one of the most important agencies that we right now need to ensure that they have the resources that they need is Department of Homeland Security. It absolutely does. Separately. It absolutely does, because this is, this is why it's important it for there to be a negotiation. We are asking for them to come to the table they themselves want to secure the border. Democrats want to secure the border? Great. Come to the table. We are ready to negotiate. We are willing to come to a deal, reopen so the government, stop the delay tactics.